Obviously, on Johnny Cage Goes Back to the Future, the bad guys took a dirt nap. Lots of bad guys. It all started when Kronika got her panties twisted over Raiden, Dustin, Shinnok and decided to reboot time. The arc of the universe bends to my will. Of course we weren't gonna let that happen. I mean, not when old Baldy picked Shao Kahn and his goons to be on her side. A new era with them in charge? Talk about a total clusterfuck. I won't lie, Kronika's mashup of past and present had us by the balls. Looked like we were gonna say goodnight, Gracie. The new era draws ever closer. But luckily, our merry band of combat kingpins, including yours truly, knew how to kick ass, take names, and not run out of bubble gum. What's up? Insecta Babe lost some limbs, Kano got too tapped, and Geras now sleeps with the fishes. Tell you what, though, Raiden giving his god powers to Liu Kang so we could take down her timeliness? Whew. That left my mind blown. Still don't understand what old Thunderhead was thinking. I am merely Raiden now. I mean, sure, Liu Kang finished Kronika, but if we're handing out god powers to people, how am I not the better choice? As younger you, I solemnly swear to tap that at the earliest opportunity. Ah, eh, whatever. When it comes down to it, all's well that ends well. Or so Liu Kang thought. There he was at the dawn of time, having a little rap party with Raiden, when who should apparate in but the godfather of Seoul himself. Shang Tsung tells Liu Kang that he can't rewrite history without Kronika's crown, and that the only way to get it is to send him back to the past. Are we really gonna trust our future to that soul sucker? Sure, why not? <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? If things work out, it will make for one hell of a summer blockbuster. I can see it now. Johnny Cage is Johnny Cage in Aftermath. Whoa there, 90s dad.